start with some top update coming in now a dmk mla has stirred a controversy with his comment on former tamil nadu chief minister late tamil nadu chief minister also uh, jayalalitha's uh, death with regard to this the dmk mla is in fact had said that modi government's responsible for jayalalitha's death and uh, the bjp is also reacted on this but first let's take a look at what the dmk mla had to say மோடி கொண்டார் அப்படின்னு கில்ட் அப்படின்னு சொல்றீங்க மோடி கொண்டார் மோடி தான் ஜெயலலிதா கொண்டார் மோடி கொண்டார்னா மோடி போய் நேரடியா கொலையா பண்ணுவாரு அந்த நோக்கத்துல சொல்லல பிஜேபி காரணம் இந்த குற்றச்சாட்டை பதிவு பண்ற மோடி அரசினுடைய தலைவர் அந்த கவர்மெண்ட் வந்து சரியா பண்ணலன்னு சொல்றதுக்கு அவங்க இறப்புக்கு காரணம் சொல்றோம் ஓபிஎஸ் வந்து சசிகலா தான் காரணம் சொன்னாரு தர்ம யுத்தம் சொல்லி நடத்தினாரு சசிகலா நேரடியா ஓபி கொண்டாங்க அவங்களுடைய இறப்புக்கான காரணங்களுக்கு அண்டி சொல்றாங்க சார் ஹி இஸ் அ ஃபூல் தி ஃபூல் ஹஸ் ஸ்போக்கன் சம்திங் இன்ஸ்டிகேட்டட் பை தி டிஎம்கே தே வாண்ட் டு பிளாபர் சம்திங் அண்ட் தென் தே டேக் பேக் வாட் தே ஹேவ் செட் பட் திஸ் இஸ் डेफिनेटலி டியூ டு தி இன்ஸ்டிகேஷன் ஆஃப் அ டிஎம்கே if not the dmk has to immediately come clear on this and sack this fellow from the dmk because this is a highly atrocious dialogue what he has said i strongly condemn this post our leader amma's demise when ops started that dharma yudham mr markandeen was with ops and he is one such person who move to dmk post the merger and alliance trying to have his fortune and luck in dmk he became an mla if he has so much of credible information why didn't he depose himself before this armo sami commission so trying to play petty politics by pleasing his master stalin uh, by talking ill about an incident and talking ill about uh, bjp Uh, shows the level to what level dmk can stoop low to gain political mileage and advantage right let me go across to my colleague shri prapanch who is joining us on this shri as expected of course a lot of pol- uh, reactions coming in on this uh, mla's comment he's in a way saying that i'm not blaming the prime minister directly but it was bjp government at the end of the day which sent that aims panel which according to the mla did not take care of amma so it is yet another uh, we can see that the politics over the late tamil nadu chief minister jayalalitha's death has once again resurfaced with this controversial comment this right in fact uh, vilathikulam mla markande made this comment he said that it was a one hour speech and he was misconstrued when because a uh, 16 uh, seconds video clip went viral on social media wherein he says that jalta was killed by modi and bjp government and subsequently when we tried reaching him initially was not available for comments and thereby thereafter uh, he was available when we spoke to him he said that uh, uh, it was a one one and a half hour speech wherein only uh, uh, a certain sec- kinds of uh, uh, part video clipping was cut and made viral and in that he had stated that there were several reasons uh, he was saying that aims doctor uh, though they had come there there wasn't any transparency in the treatment given they did not take care properly and also he was referring to the case that went to supreme court and uh, it delayed uh, due to various reasons so these are the reasons due to which uh, 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 jalta uh, uh died and because of which uh, in fact bjp was in power and the prime minister was modi and that is the reason he stated that uh, he killed and when we asked him what uh, the choice of words he has used has uh, triggered uh, in fact a controversy he said that he did not mean it in a literal sense and he just uh, uh, metaphorically referred to it uh, and saying that uh, uh, he did not mean directly saying that uh, modi did not kill, go and kill jaisa but in the sense that bjp government was res- responsible was his remark but however uh, this has not gone well with the 
neither admk bjp and even dmk is yet to react on this because when we uh, tried uh, getting reactions from the dmk dmk has not reacted regarding the same so what kind of action is the party uh, dmk going to take against this mla forest commons is yet to be seen right uh, shri we have of course seen that ai dmk's reaction has also come in on this essentially saying that uh, they have also in fact pointed fingers at uh, dmk as well but uh, the ai dmk of course playing a wait and watch game as far as this particular com uh, comment is concerned because it's a very sensitive issue of course for the party the bjp has of course outrightly condemned this calling for the minister for the mla to be sacked any reaction yet from dmk on this Sir, there is no reaction from the DMK. We were trying to get reaction from the DMK. Uh, they haven't uh, really spoken on this regard. Uh, so we need to wait and watch what kind of an action uh, uh, will be taken against this MLA Martin Dane, who is from Vilati Kolam. Now his comments are out, and he will be given an opportunity by the party to explain himself for the comments he had made. He, because in during our conversation, he said that it was a one one and a half hour speech. and he was mentioning various reasons uh, as to what caused uh, the death of jalalta and he had uh, outrightly put in a uh, uh, flashing manner that uh, 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 modi and the bjp government caused uh, killed jalalta so this was the comment that was made and subsequently uh, uh, what kind of decision will dmk make because bjp is demanding to sack this mla forest comments and subsequently we are also seeing admk also not uh, mincing words over there so we need to wait and watch what kind of an action uh, will the dmk take in this regard right shri prapanch there reporting on this and keeping a close watch on this top story and